Welcome to our holiday series, sponsored by Clover and Judikins. Today, we're going to make this adorable pom-pom elf with bendable legs and arms and everything. And I'm just going to make this cute little scene. I think I'm going to make a dozen of these. Let's see, I'm going to make them for Kim and Linda and Cynthia and Karen. All my girlfriends are getting these and maybe even my daughters. Let's get started. Now, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use some green acrylic paint and we're going to paint the body of the peg doll. You want to make sure you get a nice good coat on it. Go ahead with white paint and paint a little collar all the way around. You may want to um, work on this a little bit with your paintbrush to make them look perfect. And then fill in your, so I'm basically painting little V's and then I went back and filled in on the V's. With a stylus, you're going to go ahead and give the little elf three buttons. Taking a paintbrush, I'm going to paint his hair. So you just see it kind of make like little swooshes and filled it in. He's going to have a hat on so it doesn't, you don't need to paint the whole top of the head. And then again with the stylus go through him some eyes. Now you're going to take a pipe cleaner, find the center, and fold the pipe cleaner towards the center. This will give you the legs, as you can see here. I just bend up the tips just very slightly for the feet and for the bottom. For the arm, you're going to count four inches, maybe a four and a quarter, and fold that in half. Wrap the yarn around the arms really close together, not too tight, but not too loose. And then just glue off the ends. Now you're going to repeat and do the same thing to the legs. This takes a little time, but I really like the finished look. Now we have our arms and our legs. Now with a little piece of green felt, cut out his hat. It's just a little triangle, the measure around the head of the peg to figure that out. And a little bit of hot glue to glue it closed, like so. Using the large two and a half inch clover pom-pom maker, you're going to open up the gates and start wrapping the yarn around the inside of the curve. Now you're going to go back. I go at least three to four times on each side of the gate. Close the gate, open it up, and wrap the yarn on the other side. You want a nice thick pom-pom for his body. Now that you've finished wrapping, close the both gates, take your scissors, and cut through the little groove. This takes a little work. Do it on both sides. Now, taking an extra piece of yarn, slide the yarn into the little gully and tie a nice tight knot. I also like to flip it over and tie the knot on the other side. Once that's done, open up the gates and pull the pom-pom maker apart. Fluff it up. Trim off any little wild pieces of yarn that are sticking out and you have your body for your elf. Place hot glue on the bottom of the peg doll, overlapping about a quarter inch on the doll's body. And now you're going to press it down to the center of the pom-pom and bring the pom-pom up to cover the hot glue, just like that. Put hot glue on the legs and place that on the bottom of the pom-pom. Believe it or not, this works really well, and he stands up, or sits up, I should say. He's not standing very well. Put a little bit of hot glue on the back of his arms and just place those right over like that. He is turning out so cute. The next thing, a little bit of hot glue inside his hat. 
Make sure the seam is in the back and place his hat on his head. He is just turning out adorable. Look at him. Oh, every little elf needs a candy cane. I found these cute little candy cane buttons and I just glued one on. It's not necessary, but you can do that or a little package or just leave him ready to sit on your shelf. He's so very cute. I hope you enjoyed our little pom-pom elf. We hope you're enjoying our holiday series. Please follow us on social media and sign up on our website and you'll be eligible to win one of our prize boxes full of products from some of our favorite sponsors. And as we always say, when creativity knocks, open the door. Mm -hmm.